It's a new suit. I'm kind of uncomfortable in it. I feel kind of... It, it, it's, I tell you what it is, it fits me. <laughs> Not used to it. Hey, guess what I had for lunch today? No, wrong. <laughs> what I had was a Cobb salad. Invented by the old actor Lee Jacob, actually. Is that true? You kidding me? Yeah. Anyway, the Cobb salad invented by Bob Cobb. Anyway, the, uh, who's a famous chef. Now, the Cobb salad, to me, is a dilemma. Because I had the Cobb salad without egg. And I'll tell you why. I know what you're thinking, chefs. Well, wait a minute. It's not a Cobb salad if it doesn't have egg. I know. It was a Cobb salad without egg, you French bastard. Let me finish. <laughs> now, here's why I didn't have the egg in the Cobb salad. Because the Cobb salad also contains chicken. <laughs> and I feel uncomfortable having chicken and egg at the same time. <laughs> I mentioned that to my server today in L.A., who's also an actor. <laughs> and he was like, no, no, you can have chicken and egg at the same time. I said, no, 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 this, this for me is a problem. I don't like to eat chicken and egg at the same time. I feel if I eat the chicken, the egg's still got a chance somewhere. <laughs> I know that's stupid, but, you know. Anyway, I had a, I, I had a cop salad, but it had avocado in it. Now, does that make it a Cobb salad? I don't know. <laughs> and I don't care, because it was delicious. Anyway, I had that, and then I had chocolate. <laughs> but not at the same time. But chocolate is made with eggs, is what I'm saying. But eggs are used in chocolate. <laughs> Very little in the way of material tonight. For <laughs> So, let's see, we're uh, about two minutes in and we've run out of any material. <laughs> so this might be a good one. <laughs> then again, I don't know. So anyway, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like you to think about, do, is it okay to eat a, um, you know, a cob salad with chicken and egg together or is it better with it? And when you got the answer, write it down on a piece of paper and then throw it in the trash because I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Across the great nation, please go back into bed, sit down, relax, everything's all right. I'll be right over. <laughs> uh, ooh, very attractive studio audience this evening. Why? I, I just want to give them all $20 each. I'm not going to. <laughs> Will you pop it up? It's, <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Yep. It is. But not a great day for that air traffic controller at, at JFK in New York. Did you hear about this? He let his, his young son talk to the planes on the radio. I know. <laughs> the authorities are saying this is the worst abuse of bring your kid to work day since Woody Allen. 
Don't, don't. That was probably a bit too soon. <laughs> it's a bit too soon ye. I... Oh, now you ooh me, no! Now your oohs are too late. Ay, caramba! Anyway, the... Oh, have you cut it out? I didn't say it. I said it fast, nobody noticed. <laughs> Did you, did you hear that uh, Rush Limbaugh's uh, Manhattan penthouse is on sale at $14 million? It's an amazing property, over 4,000 square feet, and that's just the medicine cabinet. Hey, hey, hey. Do you like that? That was, that was a joke there. Yeah, see, it's, that's not actually true. But here's something that is true. Burt Reynolds is recovering nicely after uh, bypass surgery. Get well soon, Burt. The procedure... Uh, procedure... <laughs> he had it performed in France. The procedure... <laughs> no, it took a long time to do the operation. It was, uh, you know, an hour to do the operation and two weeks to shave his chest. <laughs> Damn it, we're gonna have to work faster. It's growing back! It's... <laughs> Now, I tell you what, here's something that's true. Uh, it is an important day for people who use the telephone. You remember the telephone? It's how people communicated before the Twitter and the FaceTube and the My Face. And... <laughs> it was on this day in 1847, the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, no, that's not true. He was born on this day in 1847. No, he probably invented it a couple of weeks after that. <laughs> starting to do the awkward pauses on my own, and I'm rather enjoying them. <laughs> the inventor of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell, was born on this day in 1847. Now, and, and he's, that's quite a feat, what he did. How many other people invented something you can't live without? I never leave the house without three things. My phone, my keys, and my emergency ball vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Because you never know when you're going to need the proper amount of suction. <laughs> and if there's one thing I insist on, it's the proper amount of suction. <laughs> you know people say that when Alexander Graham Bell invented the phone, his first words were, Come here, Watson, I want you. And Watson was uh, Graham Bell's friend and, this is what he called him, his tinkering partner. <laughs> I think that when the tabloids caught them in the 19th century, they called them Tinker Bell. Anyway, they... <laughs> I always wondered about the guy, the, this Watson guy, wh he, that he knew how to answer the first telephone. If you'd never heard a telephone before, you're in a room and this strange thing starts ringing, would you, wh what would you, would you know what to do? I doubt it, smarty pants, I don't think you would. <laughs> Just, what should I do? This strange box is ringing, I'll pick it up, put it to my ear, and I'll do what it tells me. <laughs> All right, maybe you would. I wouldn't do that, though. <laughs> it was almost a year before Bell had anyone to talk to besides Watson. It must have been a very happy day in 1877 when Bell finally called someone else and heard the words, Hello, caller, you're on Larry King Live. <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell also invented the metal detector in 1881. And the next year, metal detectors were installed in every airport. <laughs> Airports were quieter back then. Uh, different countries, you know, a lot of different countries claim that Alexander Graham Bell is from there. Because like me, he was born in Scotland, but he emigrated to America. And like me, he used the telephone to say, come here, Watson, I want you. And... <laughs> So both Scotland and America claim that Alexander Bell is theirs, but then so does Canada. I know. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Canada is a fine... You're a fine country, Canada. You are our hockey overlords until 2014. Curse you, Canada, and your excellent hockey play. What is the deal, by the way, with Canadians? What is the deal with Canadians? They're friendly, they're nice, everything's fine about them. We here have some ham that's really bacon. Anything you want, <laughs> bacon is really ham. They're lovely people. They're always apologizing and wearing lovely knitwear. You put a hockey stick in their hand, they become psychopaths! <laughs> I'm still a bit bitter about the hockey. Anyway, I, I was in Canada, because I like Canada, and I saw this TV special in Canada. It was called The Greatest Canadians of All Time. And at number nine was Alexander Graham Bell. And I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, I had to put down my ball vacuum cleaner, I was sad. <laughs> but apparently, though, he lived in Canada for two years. 
But that doesn't make you Canadian. <laughs> By that measure, I'm Canadian because I spent the evening with William Shatner. <laughs> Best damn night of my life. <laughs> Some people claim that Alexander Graham Bell did not invent the telephone. It was actually invented by an Italian named Antonio Meucci. And he invented it first, but he failed to get it patented in time. Now, this is a warning. If you invent something, you have to get it patented immediately. This Italian guy was probably saying, I do my patent tomorrow. Today I eat the Tutti Frutti ice cream. What's the coming to go? <laughs> But it's amazing how the telephone's evolved over 130 years. First, you had the two-part phone, the kind of, hey, say, Mac, what's the big idea? Right over here. <laughs> then, right before World War II, you had the Bakelite phone, the big chunky one, because you need a big, serious phone for the World War. You can't be texting about the Third Reich. <laughs> you can't be saying, Hitler just invaded the Sudetenland. OMG, OMG. <laughs> Doesn't work. I feel bad about that Woody Allen thing at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Only because it didn't work, though. <laughs> Not because I actually have a conscience. I mean, I do have a conscience, but it's, it's been worn away by being in Hollywood for a long time. <laughs> now I'm just an empty shell. <laughs> I'm finally assimilated into Los Angeles. <laughs> to take the commercial break now, isn't it? I think, you know, uh, it's see if it's the uh, guy with the proper amount of suction again tonight. It's not that guy tonight. Because he's got to owe us money now, man. That, I mean, I've been talking about that ball vacuum cleaner for months now. I have. I've got it. I, I have, I've used it, but only on the carpet. <laughs> All right, well, we better take a break. Uh, any idea what the commercials are? Well, if you wait, you'll see, I suppose. <laughs> They'll be good tonight, though. I've got a feeling these products are going to be awesome. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. don't hurt me during the commercial break. <laughs> they did, but they make me say that they don't hurt me. They gave me an Indian burn. <laughs> Sorry, Native American burn. <laughs> I, uh, oh, it's time for the Twitters and the email. Play the jingle. Twitter. Tweets will set you free. Try Seridon. Email. Yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> what happens if you're unfamiliar with uh, um, television? What happens here is that um, people from all over the country send in Twitters or emails, and then uh, we, we collate them into a papery form, and then they're given to me where I answer them. You know, there's a lot to get through, maybe a thousand a day. <laughs> maybe 12. Uh, anyway, what I do is I, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll answer them as, I, as the day goes on. <laughs> Ding dong! Is that the door? How could that possibly be the door? I wasn't expecting it. Why, it's Michael Shane! I, two things. One, yeah. I'm a bit, I feel a bit awkward. We both wore the grey suit. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. But you, yours looks great. Um, it was either this or play skins, and I didn't want to take the whole no, thing No, no, no. Maybe later. But here's yeah. the problem. <laughs> the, it, it, this, I, you're the guest on the show tonight, mm. but it's not time for you yet. No, they told me I could come in here and I'd find a good tinkering partner. Ah. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I'll take it with you. Well, we have to do this first. And come then... here, Watson. Yeah. I want come you. Come here, Watson. I want you. I'm feeling very Canadian. 
I've just invented something with a proper amount of suction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, well, you, we'll have to do this, and then we'll have a commercial break, and then you can be the guest on the show. Go all right, right, all right, we can do this first. All okay. right, this is a Twitter. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, um, from Carmen in Singapore. Singapore? Ever been there? It's near Luton. No, no, it's much further away than Luton. It's where chewing gum is illegal. In Singapore? It is. If you're caught chewing gum... <laughs> well, not really. What, you, you have to make a funny yeah, you have to noise? Yeah, you have to make that noise. <laughs> have you been chewing gum? Yes, well, make that noise then. <laughs> All right, on you go. <laughs> All right, it's a boring question. Uh, this is from JC in Broken Arrow. You ever been to Broken Arrow? It's from Jesus Christ. <laughs> You've, you've clearly never been to Oklahoma. <laughs> Jesus don't, Christ is alive and well and living in Oklahoma. Don't start talking like this. Yeah, don't, don't, especially about Oklahoma. I'm Oklahoma's, there. it's like Holland, but with guns. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is from David in Portland in Oregon. You ever been up there? I have. I made a film there called The Music Within. Oh. I loved that place. It was wonderful. It's I love nice. you, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, it's very nice. It rains there a lot. It does, but Much then it's like, like Wales. Wales. Exactly. Yes, yes. Where I, I see, come from. Yes, I see now. Mm. All right, this is uh, from David in Portland, Oregon. He said, Craig, after your superb, awkward pause with Quentin Tarantino last week, we, I did do that. I think his name is Tarantino. Though. What did I say? You said Tarotino. No, that's, how, that's my pet name for him. <laughs> All right, I see. <laughs> Did I say Tarotino? Completely different guy. Oh, yeah. He flogs aquariums down the market. <laughs> Quentin Tarotino? Yeah. yeah. Come in, I'll tell you your future. I am Quentin Tarotino. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'll forget that. Uh, all right, this is from Michael in Edison, New Jersey. Now, do you know who was from there? Uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Yes. <laughs> Michael in Edison, New Jersey says, Craig, my hair is gorgeous, and this bald guy wants me to sell it to him. <laughs> should I do it? Do it, do it! Yeah, you should, man. Do it! Do it, do it! Do but, it! But wait, 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 man. Sorry, wait. sorry. We don't know if it's hair here, or... Do it! No, do it! Yeah, 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 do it. <laughs> I like your style. I'll put that to one side. Okay. I'll get these shorts out later. <laughs> Save that one for special. Yeah, I'll put that back later. But that'll be for the uh, post-Oscar party. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, it's going to be hairy. Uh, <laughs> if I had a hairy cat, I'd shave it. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is from Mandy in Alpharetta in Georgia. That's a made-up place. That doesn't No, exist. no, it does. I've been there, Alpharetta. <laughs> What long-lost fashion trend would you wish to return? Personally, I wish men would start wearing fedoras again. Me too. Isn't that a cigar? Well, fedora? No, that's a corona. Wearing cigar? Oh, right, corona. No, no, no. I, you, but I would quite like it if men wore cigars. That would be quite good. I would just wear a skirt of cigars. <laughs> I would wear one big cigar and then make my hair go up like a razor head to stick out the top of it. That'd be quite nice. With little yeah. eye holes. Do, do you ever smoke cigars? Uh, no, no, I don't. Yeah, uh, what about marijuana? Do you smoke that? I, I, I smoke bananas. <laughs> Have you never smoked a banana? Is that some kind of... Is that some kind of actor talk we've got here? I'm just trying to get you to say it. What? Smoked a banana? Yeah. No, I've never... I, I think the censor might be all over this. <laughs> is this popular slang, is it? Smoked a banana? There's an incredibly small fetish group on the internet who are really? now shaking that you've just said that. Oh, really? Yeah. There are people that smoke the smoke banana, banana smokers. Smokers. Com? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah. I am a member of that site. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I tell you, actually, oh, yeah, can I tell okay. you, yeah, yeah. the best internet site that I've ever heard of is that there is a fetish about people writing stories about wrapping Roy Orbison up in cling film. That is true. <laughs> Why do you have to be embarrass me? <laughs> Talking about my private life. One story begins with, I was visiting my grandmother in the hospital. I walked past a slightly ajar door, happened to see Roy Orbison on the, on the table in there. I happened to have my cling film on me. Well, they make up stories about yeah, wrapping yeah. up Roy Orbison in cling film. Yeah. He's no longer with us, Roy no, Orbison. No, I know. Oh, well, that's, that's not plausible, it's then. It's a sort of it? tribute, isn't it, really? <laughs> I think we may have a few of them in the audience tonight. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind wrapping a few of them in plain film, to be honest. <laughs> we have to take a break, and then sorry, when, I come, sorry. Oh, when I come back, yes. right, and I'm glad you're here, because it'll stop the audience hurting me. 
I'm going to join them. No, no, you mustn't. <laughs> no, see that. <laughs> but when we, when we come back, my guest tonight will be Michael Sheen, who's you. Oh, yes. Right, we'll just wait there. You don't have to go okay. out and come back in again. All right, I'll just that wait would here. be awkward. <laughs> and I think, we've, I think we've had more than enough of that on the show <laughs> this evening. All right, we'll be right back with Michael Sheen. tonight um, I, I, uh, no don't stop it <laughs> my first guest tonight is very very small I look I can hold him in my hand look turn around little guest and I'll smack you a bottom <laughs> no the other way, other way. <laughs> there you go <laughs> come here Watson I want you <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, well. Well, Michael Sheen in a new film, Alice in yes. Wonderland. Who do you play in Alice in Wonderland? I play, I want to say Alice, but it's an old joke. Uh, right. No, I play the White Rabbit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 oh that. It looks like a sort of, it was a strange kind what of, was? we don't really care yeah. noise there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, it was a bit like, yeah. oh. yes, he does look like a rabbit. He's a bit, I've always thought he's yes. a bit rabbity. Yes. He is a bit rabbity. Do people think you're a bit rabbity? No, they've not mentioned it before, but I think these people do. <laughs> well, they think everybody's rabbity. When I came out, they were kind of looking for little poop chunks on the floor, you know? They, <laughs> they scoop them up in the commercial breaks yeah, yeah, and I take know. them out, don't they? Do, well, we, we used to eat rabbit in Scotland. You can't say that to me. As part of my research, I lived with rabbits for six months. You Did can't you? then say you eat them. Oh, yeah. But I would never eat a rabbit and a rabbit egg at the same time. <laughs> when you ordered the chicken and the egg, which came first? Well, the egg didn't come at all. So I didn't order ah. the chicken and the egg. I said, I'd like a cob salad, no egg. And he said, that's not a cob salad. And I went, fine, I'll have whatever a cob salad is without egg. That's what I want. But isn't it the age-old question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah, but I've decided I know the answer to that. Which is? Chicken. <laughs> Why? Because y you can't have an egg without someone laying it. <laughs> well, the egg just turned up on its own, but from another planet, oh, they came down in a spaceship and an egg. The egg's not going to be, what did it grow? Grow out of the ground? Come on, man! Come on! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're not even thinking! I'm not, I'm not. I'm still thinking you, Are about... you one of those, oh, the egg came first people? Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm an eggist. Yes! <laughs> I'm an eggationist. Really? Do you, do you believe the egg came first? Uh, no, I believe that... Uh, I believe we're all one. I believe that, <laughs> yeah. I believe that children are our future. <laughs> yeah. Treat them well. And they will find a way. They will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did an awkward pause without you <laughs> trying. Isn't that nice? Just like Tarotino. Oh, yeah, Quentin Tarotino. Have you met Quentin? I have. I met him a while ago. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's nice. He was lovely. He was yeah, very nice. I always expect him to do something really bloodthirsty, but mm. he never does. No, I yeah. saw him shoot three people, but apart from that... He shot three people? He did. When? Uh, at a party that I was at. Really? Yeah. Uh, he, well, occasionally he'll do that. Do you go to a lot of the Hollywood parties and shoot people? No, but I think it was because someone called him Tarotino. Uh-oh. So he, sh he just shot them. Mm. He owns a cinema just down the road, you know. He bought really? the cinema, yeah. Just to show his films? No, he doesn't actually show his films much. What does he show? Well, you know, other films. <laughs> Ones that you're in, <laughs> yeah. mostly. It's a Sheen Fest. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's Sheen Nation. Sheenapalooza. Sheenapalooza, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you, would you like to own a cinema? I'd love to own a cinema. Really? In fact, I'm you thinking should... about, you know, there's so many beautiful old Art Deco cinemas here in L.A. Right. And that's... they're all closed down. Yeah. Um, and so I'm thinking about trying to find one and start up a theatre company in one. Really? What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. Can I be in it? You can. All right. I'm Selling tickets. <laughs> 
and doing little wait, tap dances wait, in wait, between that, the films. That's what I was going to ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> At the uh, Alice in Wonderland premiere in yeah. London last week, yeah. uh, no, sorry, here in LA, we had a sort of special screening of it yeah. uh, at the El Capitan Theatre, and they have, a man, there, yeah. they have a man on an organ before the film starts. Oh, yeah. Well, I always know. like a man on the organ before <laughs> the film starts. Oh, hey, 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 hey. hey. LOL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, LOL. Yeah. OMG, I can't believe he said that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there was a guy on the organ playing his full time, and then he goes down at the beginning of the film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, well, not, well, well. I'm not playing these smutty games with you. I'm not. Well, what the hell have you been doing for the I'm last not. 20 minutes then? <laughs> Anyway, I suppose the film's good, The because uh, we've run out of time now, oh, we've got to talk yeah. about it a bit. Alice in Wonderland, fantastic. Go and see it. Yeah, yeah. Helen Bonham Carter's in it. She's brilliant. It's the I, best I, thing I I've her, ever seen her do. Helen Bonham Carter, I called her there. You. I didn't mean to. It's just I'm, I'm having There's some terrible... parallel Hollywood, Hollywood oh, universe. See, Hollywood, Hollywood. Uh, yeah, see? <laughs> but a parallel Hollywood universe where there yeah. are people called Helen Bonham Carter and Quentin Tarotino. Yeah. Tarotino, and... yeah. She was here, you know, Helen Bonham Carter. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know the actress Michelle Pfeiffer? Yes. Have you heard of her? Very much so. In, In fact, I've smelled her. <laughs> she was a guest on the show, and at the end, I leaned over and went, <laughs> like that. I just smelled you there. That was my trick to smell you. What did she do? Jasmine. Uh, <laughs> what did she do when you smelled her? Um, appreciated it. Because <laughs> I got a little shiver up and down my spine when you did Well, when I smelled you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Watson, I want you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I was going to say, what? Michelle Pfeiffer, if you were to slightly get her name wrong, yeah. um, she would be Michelle Perfiffier. That's not slightly getting her name wrong. That's quite wrong. That's, 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 that's extravagantly I think getting you should her go, name Why don't you from now on try and get everyone's names really wrong, famous people's names All right, really then. wrong? The lovely Michael Shue, everybody. Michael <laughs> Shue, we'll be right back. Hey, Michael. Hey, not all of it. Oh, no, stop. It's a who, Majesty. This is, um... Um? From Umbridge. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Oh, it was nice to see Michael Sheen. He's gone now, though. I'm not leaving. I've got another guest, though, who's lovely. All right. <laughs> She's in a movie called The Green, <laughs> the Green Zone, which is in theaters March the 12th. Take a look at this. Take a look. Right. Wall Street Journal. How's it going? Uh, you know, it's, we haven't found it yet. Yeah. Hey, Sergeant Perry. We'll find it. It's frustrating, right? A little bit. So what are you and Marty talking about? Oh, you know, I can't talk to you about that. Oh, come on. You come in fresh off the field to have a lemonade with Martin Brown? Something's got to be going on. The lovely Amy Ryan, everybody, Amy Ryan. Hello, Amy. Hello, Craig. Well, how lovely to see you. Thank you. Have you met Michael? No, no, but I know your work. Oh, well, You're right. Oh, oh, actor. actors talking. Hang on, hang on. That's enough. <laughs> That's the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, I can't pull off shoes like that. They are stunning. <laughs> Look at those, right. girlfriend. Very, they are very nice shoes, yeah. I always do the shoes, Michael, if you don't mind. Sorry. I like to compliment on the shoes. <laughs> What, what do you have? Oh, no, I, you don't oh. have to do the Bob Barker's oh. old oh. shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, by the way, here's a tip. Uh, if you want girls to find you attractive, show them this part where the sock leaves a mark on your leg. <laughs> There you go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's... Let's pull the sock down so they see the mark. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's, uh, that's, that's big uh, over in the UK, is this? Uh, is this yeah. Yeah. We're big on sock marks. Yeah, yeah. we do. But there's a website, actually. <laughs> hey, Amy, you, um, congratulations. Did you just have a baby? I did. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. That's lovely. What, what, what age? Uh, what did you have? 
had I had a baby girl. Oh, that's lovely. What's her name? Georgia. That's lovely. Did you have her in Georgia? Uh, no, I had her in New York. <laughs> but that was already a reality star on VH1, and you didn't want to call her that. <laughs> is that really? Yeah, is she, yeah. Is she yeah. always on your mind? Yes, she is. Uh, I was going to ask her is. if she was always on her mind. I was going to ask her if she was always on her mind. Got to be quicker. That was my next thing. He's, 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 he's a, a man, great, he's, great actor, terrible host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's exactly the opposite of me. <laughs> I was going to say the George on your mind thing. I was, I was going to say the George yeah, on your mind. Yeah, she was going to say it too. Yeah, how about giving us a chance, oh, Michael? Oh if, when I'm hot, I'm hot. Yeah, I'm I guess. Hey, uh, how about the uh, the uh, what the film? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the green zone, but that's yeah. uh, that's uh, Matt Damon that's, in there. He was yeah, he's good. He's really good. Yeah. He's really good. He's the real deal. Yeah. An he's American too. He's, he's American. American. He's American. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I get asked so much. People say, "Oh, you're the girl in the Matt Damon movie. Did you get to kiss him?" Yeah. So first question. Did you? No. Did I feel I feel like I need one of those T-shirts. Like I'm the girl opposite Matt Damon, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Uh. <laughs> That's, but is it the same director that did the Bourne movies? It is, ah, yes. See, I love the Bourne movies. Amazing. Paul yeah. Greengrass. He makes a, an exciting film. He does. Like, is there lots of kung fu and death? There's, there's death. Mm. There's kung fu. That would happen in between the scenes that yeah. he didn't film at. That was just a warm-up, the group Well, you just did yeah. some kung fu to get going? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's like me and him before he yeah. comes out exactly. here. <laughs> yeah. Um, there, there's death. There, there's some humor. There's a lot of action. There's helicopters. Helicopters? Yes. I'm in. See, that's what you, that's what you want to get in that, um, what do you call it? Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I bet you don't have a helicopter in I that. I come in on a helicopter. Really? Up the rabbit hole oh. in my helicopter. <laughs> so listen, you've got a little baby girl. That's lovely. Yes, I do. And you brought her out from New York? Yes, we all flew out. And how, she, age, how old is she? She's five, almost five months. And how was the flying? All right. Yeah, she does great. She yeah, does, I used yeah. to like flying when my yeah. when my son was very young. It was all right because if, if he's not causing a lot of trouble, uh, he's asleep. And when he causes trouble, do you try to pretend it's another passenger's no, child? No, no, no. I enjoy I enjoy <laughs> the misery that is spreading throughout the airplane and people doing all that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, like that's going to put yeah. the kid to sleep. Oh, 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 oh. You do. You do get some crazy looks but yeah. when you get on the flight. People are like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, not another baby. Yeah. I used to be that person. Yeah, yeah no, no, and then yeah. you have a baby and karma yeah. comes right exactly. back Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. your baby's okay. What about uh, sleeping through the night? Are you she good? She sleeps through the night. Really? Yeah. Are you sure this is a baby or we're talking about? Or, or perhaps she's, you know, sneaking out the window and going out on the town, but uh, we don't hear her. She's, that's pretty, she's really, that's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah. And poop, lots of poop. Uh, she's got some good health, healthy poops. Yeah. Nah, that's good. Awesome. That's what you want. How about you, Michael? Mine yeah. doing healthy poops. poops. My poops are very healthy. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, you, you, you We've seen good. your poops. Yeah, you well, they're <laughs> like little rabbits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, this is good. Oh. Did you shoot the film in Iraq? Uh, n no. A amazingly, we didn't, because you'd swear we did when you see this film. Although, right. I don't know how many of you have been to Iraq. I haven't, so right. I don't know what you compare it to. But, no, we shot in London and Morocco and Spain. I've been to Morocco you and have. Spain. Isn't yeah. it amazing? I love Morocco. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's very, very nice indeed. In fact, someone offered to sell me some hashish when I was in Morocco. <laughs> I, of course, refused. I, I once was drugged with hashish in a nice little tagine. I didn't know it was in there. Oh, and the really? walls started to spread. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That'll be hashish. I, I was shocked. I really, I thought it was myself. I thought, I'm really just horribly, I'm terribly socially awkward. I, the walls are, are spreading and I, I want to go home. Yeah, that sounds but, uh, like it. Yeah, I just uh, really brought the party down. No, <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Many of the people in the audience, I think, are on hashish this <laughs> evening. Yeah. We're stretching. Yeah, no, they're. they're it, yeah. So, um, well, that's lovely, and I'm very happy that you're here and you got to meet Michael and the film's coming out and yes. it's, it's so fantastic. It all worked out rather well. I think that we should have a commercial break. Well, I don't, but we have to. Okay. But if it was cable, we wouldn't have to. No. And we could say. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. I'm pointing it out. And if it was cable, you could also. <laughs> <laughs> you rinse your mouth out, girl. Rinse, 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 and repeat. Don't touch the snake. <laughs>
You have a five-month daughter. How dare you? Yeah. Yeah. You're ashamed We're of yourself. Outraged. He's from Wales. I'm from Scotland. Yes. We don't appreciate naughtiness. We like things to be calm. <laughs> Okay. Hey, you know what? Have you ever uh, have you ever been drinking with a Welshman? Not yet. No, don't. <laughs> the night is young. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I, I, I swear, I tell you, this is true. I've been drunk with most nationalities, and by far and away the worst. Make the Australians look like teetotalers <laughs> and the Welsh. Big drinkers. Why? The Welsh. Why? Why I don't is know. it worse? He's Welsh. Let's why, ask why, him. Why? why? Born with a great thirst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, they have that language, yeah. which is based entirely on phlegm. <laughs> In fact, so. we made up the language after having drunk a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was like drunk. That's, that's Welsh for one more round. Everything, Everything in Welsh means one more round, round. yeah. That, Stay for another. That's yeah. Welsh for, I'm sorry, but we have to go to a commercial break. <laughs> Michael Shu, everybody! Michael Shu! Welcome back, everybody. Um, well, sadly, we're out of time, everyone. <laughs> but I think we all learned something. Michael, what did you learn on I the show tonight? Never, ever to come back on this show. Oh, ever. Oh. What the you be so mean? I, I, I talked to you very nicely uh, for I, a Welshman. I learned some very rude words from Amy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do know some very rude words, Amy. I, I, I am from Queens. Yes. <laughs> I know some <laughs> Queens. <laughs> and I am a Queen! There you go! <laughs> ah, good times. You know what we didn't know? We didn't have a Spanish word of the day. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, mi lapis es amarillo. I'm sorry, what does that mean? <laughs> My pencil is yellow. <laughs> do you find... That's good. That is good. Do you, do you, is that all of your Spanish? Uh, seventh grade Spanish, yes. In That's a, my seventh grade Spanish. In a strange irony, I was once cautioned for using that exact same phrase. <laughs> in Welsh. In Welsh. You were cautioned? Mm. By you? whom? I, I, was, I, I went up to a woman and said, hello, my pencil is yellow. Oh, you don't want to say that. <laughs> I went yeah. up to a woman and said, my vacuum cleaner has the proper <laughs> amount of suction. <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you have to buy the ladies' dinner first <laughs> before you use those phrases. Before you get out your yellow <laughs> yeah. pencil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking about pencils and vacuum cleaners? No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so uh, we were wondering if you wanted to come out and hang about with us tonight. Um, w w can you get me a babysitter? Sure. sure. Okay. Yeah, Michael? Yeah, Michael will do it. <laughs> Would you, well, you know. No, I thought when you said we... Yeah. And both of us. Yeah, no, no, that's true. I was, that's his name. You're not the only person called Michael, you know. Get oh. over it. Oh, there's another, someone else called Michael. Oh, no, no, you're the special Michael, the only <laughs> Michael in the world. No, there are other Michaels. There's you, there's uh, Michael over there, Michael Nanus, there's uh, Michael Naismith, who was in The Monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Nice, obscure Michael. Thank you I like very that. much indeed. Nice yeah, one. I like that one. I've been very uncomfortable in this suit. It fits me, and I'm not used to that. Um, uh, look. You have to break that in. I do. Yeah. You can do that again if you want. Hey. Actually, I, I want to see the sexy one. Oh, uh, the salt mark? Yeah, 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 go on. Oh, help yourself. oh there's a yeah. nice bridge. It feels yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, that's right. They're like, they're like little ankle abs. Yeah, that's right. They're ankle abs. I do these all the time. That's how you get them. I've got a six pack. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's down here. If you, if you bring your sock down just below the sock mark, yeah. could you sort of think that sock cleavage? Yeah, that is sock cleavage. <laughs> yeah. Sock cleavage. Sock cleavage. Sock cleavage. Sounds Which like sounds like a Welsh railway station, <laughs> it does. doesn't it? Welcome to sock cleavage. <laughs> we have to go. We're way over time. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, what are you going to do? You're only going to be selling the ShamWow anyway. It's the middle of the damn night. <laughs> All right, we got to go. Okay. Say, say goodnight, everybody. Goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night.